ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Extinction on the Mr. Extinction's Playground server. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still kind of early today. Uh, and my throat is, uh, always weird in the morning, so I don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, we are doing some things. I've got this guy on, uh, organic polymer production. We have done a crap load more Volanosaur breeding, and as you guys can probably see, meat. Uh, meat. Um, oh yeah, I built one of these, because we had all the materials to do so. Um, I also built a mutator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh. Bought a mutator because, uh, bought a mutator? Made a mutator. Uh, because I want to do some crafting things. Uh, you are not going to be... Alright. We have far too many Volanosaurs. Um, at this point in time, which we're about to fix. That's right. There's a red dropout. And we're going to try it. Oh, 284. Did we get a mutation? What, what mutation did we get? This is definitely a mutation of the, uh, I think we got another stamina mutation. We might have gotten another stamina mutation. Come over here. We have more than one stamina mutation. This is my personal Volano at the moment. These are both stamina mutations. 1917. 1917. 1917, yeah. These are all stamina mutations, but this is a different colored stamina mutation. So, uh, we'll go ahead and keep this. Uh, we will disable wandering, we'll leave you there to grow up. That's cool. So, I've got several melee. I've got a melee mutation that is now uh, being bred into my main Volanos. I have a health mutation that is being bred into my main Volanos. You are a 282, which means there are no extra stats on you. Hopefully that red drop's still there here in a minute. 282, there's nothing on you. Uh, the reason why I can't just leave them unclaimed and uh, deal with them that way is because on a PvE server, apparently, at least this one, you can't, uh, you don't even have a color mutation. You can't, uh... You can't harm... Hi. Unclaimed bread dinos. So that's the thing. Alright, we'll check this stuff in there. 13 high, we need that. Alright, so to start with, I need to see if I can make... Oops. I need to see if I can make... I've got two of these now. And it looks like this one's got the better health. So we're going to try and make that one. We need metal ingots and a crap ton of polymer. Okay, so the metal ingots are being made up. I went and got a bunch of uh, metal, which should be smelting in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's doing things. Uh, and then the gotcha is providing the polymer. And it doesn't spoil because it's still in crystal form. So we'll have plenty of polymer for this. I've just been chucking all of the polymer crystals in there. Mastercraft says, already have better. I'm only missing a ascendant pick. But yeah, I need, uh, I'm going to try bringing one of the, uh, enforcers. Because it does a lot of damage to, uh, the creatures. It's regular crystal, I don't need to worry about it. Uh, a lot of damage to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, corrupted creatures. And it also takes less damage from corrupted creatures. And the Volanosaurs, I'm gonna have, um... Running around on follow. And I'm not going to have them on turret mode. Because on turret mode apparently. And I've seen this for myself. They don't do any additional damage. 
And, um... We need them to be able to do as much damage as possible. So we're gonna have them following the enforcer. No more eggs, okay. Um, these are the base stats that we're working with, by the way. We have uh, almost 4k health. We have 1852 stamina, which is, you know, fine. Uh, oxygen, we don't care about. Food, we don't care about. Weight is almost 600, which is great. Melee is 390, which is... Um, I think our last one was 372, so we got mutations into melee. We got mutations into health. Which is amazing. And then out here, we've obviously been uh, leveling these guys up. This guy has a bunch of levels. I've been getting them to about 5k... Or not 5k, 500% melee. So when they hit, they're going to hurt. And then the rest of it's gone into health. And some of these, as you can see, have 10k health. This guy hasn't been leveled in melee at all. Um, the light right here, 10k, 5, 500. That's the red drop right there, ladies and gentlemen. We just need our enforcer. And I don't want to lose this enforcer since I have two uh, 174s. I want to use the mutator. What are you? Ascendant Shotgun. I want to use the Mutator to be able to, uh... Oh, I'm just checking at random places. To breed the Enforcers, which maybe we'll do that today. Maybe, well, let's see. We're going to need a lot more metal, so that's not going to happen. The thing with it is, I can't lose the Enforcers. So, uh, let's grab a bunch of these, actually. See what are we still missing here? This guy. 200 metal and some polymer. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. What was that? What was that? Oh! It's purple. Here we go. There it is. Technically it's blue. Mastercraft flak helmet. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll check this in here. This is all the gear that I've been getting from the gotchas. Uh, this I have semi-organized. Then we have this down here. All of the goodness. All of it. Then we have this here. With a lot more goodness. And I think that's everything. Yeah. There's nothing in that. There's nothing in that. This is uh, just the crystals. Okay. So, we're getting there with the metal. We are getting there. Alright guys, so we need 1,099 polymer. In order to be able to make this, but we have all of the metal. Throw that in there. Washa! Boom! We just made an Ascendant Enforcer! Level 174. Heck yes. All right. So, let's check this guy out. Let's check him out. Boom. <gasps> He's blue and like a metallic grayish brown. I like it. What's his stats? We have 2.7k health. We have 15,075 stamina. Uh, energy, I guess this is fuel. 5850. Uh, weight. He carries 1,004? Holy crap. Melee damage 267 and movement speed 100%. Okay, so. We know nothing about this thing yet. I know nothing about this thing yet. You might know something about this. I know nothing. I know nothing! So. Let us make, uh, well, let's take, uh, some element. And we will toss the element on the dude. Because I'm pretty sure this, like most other things, takes element to ride. Whoa. What does that mean? Is that... Ooh! Okay, that's teleportation apparently. Ooh, he's fast. He's fast! Woo! I like it. 
What does he do to this guy? 90. Ninety damage. Okay, that's 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 okay. He can also eat the things. Oh, I like the blink. Okay, he's got that. We've got an alpha raptor over there. Interesting. Enforcer has a level up. Okay, all right. Since we're gonna be wanting to breed this, we need folders. Health. Twenty-seven hundred. Uh. Stamina is 1575. Uh, the energy is 5850. 5850. The weight is 1004, 1104. Melee. 267 space wrong spot right there and then the speed is 100 like so okay uh so now we have all the base stats i want you know what i don't even know what it does to a corrupted creature yet we need to find a corrupted creature that almost looks like a corrupted doa to because of the colors oh my word that's great we know it's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow, 363. Okay. Uh, let's put some points into melee, see how much it goes up. Okay, 71, 76, 80, 85. So it goes up between uh, like uh, four and five points per, it looks like. Hey, Carno! 400 and he's dead! Boom! 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 Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is great. This is my new favorite toy. Um, Let's take a little bit of damage because I've heard of a thing. I have heard of a thing. I'm doing 100 damage to this guy now. That's cool. We actually got to find something we can take damage from, though. Boom! You're dead. Oh, this is great. He really hasn't used all that much, uh, stuff either. Alright, so, uh, let's take these guys out really quick. Boom! You're dead! And you're dead! So, I've heard that the scouts, um... I've heard that the scouts can, uh, heal these? I'm not sure how. X? X? No. Hmm, okay, well. Uh, behavior. Da -da -da -da. Attacking target. You gonna die. Why can't I get on this thing? Is it is he actually getting healed? Oh no, my scout! You stupid. You stupid! 
Oh well. Scouts are... Scouts are... Was he actually healing him? Oh, he took... He took health damage there. That's not good. Oh, that makes me nervous. That makes me nervous. I don't know that I want to use this guy if he's going to be fragile, you know. You know what? We're going to try we're going to try this red drop. Um We're going to try the red drop without the enforcer this time cuz I really don't want to lose it. another thing. Boom. Oh yeah. We wall, wall crawling. Oh, this is a trip. This is trippy. Sorry guys, the Discord overlay I realize does show on my recordings. I don't know how to turn that off. Yoink. Oh, that is so cool. Alright. Doesn't have a great vertical, does it? Alright, well. Let's stick this dude over here. Actually, another thing. Can you... No, you can't bring out weapons while you're on the back. Okay. So that's good to note. That is good to note. All right. Uh, I'm going to get a couple things pulled together, guys. And then we are going to go out and attempt another red drop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the army following. This is going to be interesting. All except for a couple, which we'll leave there for base defense purposes, I guess. Uh, and we're going to hope that this thing hasn't or doesn't despawn by the time we get there. But, yeah, let me get over there. And we'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are crafting the second enforcer. Because the drop despawned before I could get there. I've left the Volanos out over that way for when it comes back. But, yeah, we don't, uh, we don't have any, uh, drop to go do at this point. Because it took too long to get my enforcers. So, uh, we're going to take a look at these guys. Let's see here. Health is 2100. Stamina is 1485. Energy is 5100. And this also means that I'm not going to be quite as scared uh, to... Um, the weight on this one's great. 1216. That's uh, 100 points more. I'm not going to be as scared to lose things because I'll just be breeding these. So, melee is 261. And speed is 100. And I just do that to cap off that row, basically. All right. So, um, I don't want you, 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 or you. Server's going down for an automated restart in 10 minutes. Gosh damn it. I should have seen that coming. But yeah, I don't want any of those over there while I do this. So. What are we going to get out of this? And I know I'm probably going to have to wait for a restart. But and this guy's like an all smoke gray. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need a little bit of element for this. I'm excited! I want to know what's going on with these. Uh, that's all my element dust. I have so much element dust. Alright. So. Uh, grants a random gender to nearby genderless dinos. We need 10 of these. And pulse. Boom. Okay. We have a male 
And a female. Excellent. All right. Uh, I need a hitching post. I need a hitching post right here, right now. Um. So we're gonna hitch you. We're gonna hitch you. And then we need another pulse to make these things able to breed. Grants the ability to breed. Okay. So we need another 10 element. Cooling down. It has 4 minutes and 15 seconds for a cooldown? Are you serious? Oh. Alright. Well. Rip. I'm going to wait for that cooldown, guys. And I will be back uh, as soon as I can be. And... Bang! <laughs> so now we enable wandering on these guys. And what are we going to get? Gender NA. What are they... What do you mean, gender NA? Oh, the server restart freaking... Oh, are you serious? And it's got another countdown, and it's going to take more element. Crap. Okay, guys. I'll be back again. All right, right about 13 seconds. Roughly, yeah, five seconds now-ish. Come on. We want to change this to... This one. Remove this effect by using pulse again. Wait, 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 wait. Age frozen dinos will eat at one... Wow, okay, that's not what we want. Sends out... Lay eggs. No, no, no. Swaps gender. Grants random gender. Here we go. Assignment pulse. All right. Bang. Ah! We have it! It's working! Gestation. 23 minutes. Check it out! Oh my god! This is so great. This is so cool. This is gonna be amazing. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, gathering up polymer crystals while we wait for uh, the gestation process to complete. And uh, we'll be back. All right, people. This is a while later. Um, I've done a little bit of mutating. We now have four of these guys. Uh, so the one that I got when I pulsed the mutator again was another female. So I bred that one and I got another one. Hey. No. 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 Go away. Um, they can harvest, as you can see. Uh, so we now have four of these guys. I have also tried doing it twice more. The first time, they were all freaking males. Now they're all freaking females. So, we haven't gotten any more. And I haven't been able to kind of try and breed stats or levels or anything at this point. Uh, the one I'm currently on, I think, came out at... What is it now? Came out at, uh, 187. Which is uh, seven levels higher than you can get in the wild, so that's fantastic. But I've been running around with these guys a little bit. It's, it's great. So if you hold right-click, you get this little doohickey. And then if you let it go, whoosh-yam! And then look at this. 542 damage. 542 damage. Get some! You too! Get some! 150. Uh, it doesn't do so well with the, uh, regular dinos. 
Can't really do a side by side comparison, but doesn't do so well with the regular dinos. Uh, it takes the same amount of damage as a creature normally would, and it gives um, like 60% less damage. But for corrupted creatures, these guys uh, take 60% less damage. Shabang! And that's just your left click right there. And uh, they give 60% more damage to corrupted creatures, which is amazing. Uh, another thing you can do, if you think that you're getting bounced all over on, you can go up, you press C, boom. You have caused this weird effect. It was a 120. Wonk. Uh, so like, it, I don't know if it's like a confusion effect or what it is, but it's like this pulse and it shoots the smaller creatures away. And the bigger creatures, um, not enough stamina to climb. We are out of stamina. Uh, and the bigger creatures, um, get some kind of weird status effect. Yeah. Anyway. No element veins here today. I have my Volanosaurus, like, stationed out here. So anytime that there's a, a vein, I can just come over here and... Look at that. That is nuts. Anytime that there's a vein, I can just come over here and, uh, I've already got my army. You can get pounced off of, uh, mounts, by the way, on these guys. I did find that out the hard way. Let's see, where else do these element veins spawn? Wasn't it, like, up here somewhere? Yeah, it was, like, up over here. Yonk. I love that. And then, so these weird, uh, like, arrow bar thingies, um, on the screen, like, above my hotbar, those are a cooldown timer. Ooh. That's Giga. Hi, Giga. Can we be sneaky? Uh, it's not working. That hurt. You think we can take on a Giga? I don't know. We're taking on a Giga! Ooh! Oh, he's on us. Woo! Oh, he's pissed. This is not what I had planned for today's episode. Ooh, boy. Yeah, he, uh, these things don't have a ton of health. I've actually put, I put a lot, a lot of melee into it, and I've put a couple, uh, things of, uh, health. But these guys really don't have a whole lot of health. It is scary how little health these guys have. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run away from that. Because that's not something I want to be fighting. At least not by myself right now, on the ground with this guy. I wish these things weren't so fragile. Hopefully I can get some, uh, some good health stats and things into some of these guys. That would be amazing. Uh, some health and some melee stats. That would be the best. I also don't think that they take, uh, fall damage. Pretty sure. Yonk. And you're dead. Hey. 102. Okay. Uh, I apologize for the Discord overlay once again. If anybody knows how to uh, turn that off. Um, so it doesn't show up on a recording. At least disable it temporarily. That would be lovely. So, um. I'll show you. It goes up like five points per melee damage. Gosh, Leave me alone! 
Uh, so we're at 4,158. 4,300. So, I mean, health is decent to level up. Then you don't get the uh, incredible melee damage. So, I don't know. Uh, there's going to be... We're going to be having to do a lot of element runs, I think. What level are you? 48. Not worth it. Um, we're going to have to do a lot of element runs, I think, because we're going to be doing a lot of mutating. Whoa, that was weird. It, like, teleported but didn't teleport. Oh, gosh. So we'll be doing lots of element runs. Element veins. And, uh, we will be working on breeding up an army of these guys as well and seeing what kind of stats and, uh, uh, damage values and things that we can't get out of them. So that'll be fun. But as you can see, like, female, 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 female. It really doesn't work, man. Really doesn't work. So, but yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, and for, like, base stats, uh, melee is 261, health is 2700. These both came out with pretty much similar to that, so uh, yeah, you can see that I've um, I've put almost 200 uh, points of melee damage in, and uh, we have quite a bit of health in comparison. But uh, yeah, they're fragile. Also, leveling that's an amazing thing. Yes, so. Uh... I am thinking... Actually, you know what? Hang on. I have a thing somewhere. I have a thing that I made somewhere. Where is the thing that I made? Right here. We never put this away. Or put this down. How big is this? Okay. It's not... It's not huge. It's not small either. Do you have stuff in you? Yes. You all go away. I had to move one of my gotchas earlier as well. Uh, pick up. Throw that in there. We're, we're doing a little bit of redecorating. I think this can fit over here a lot easier. Alright, there we go, and then the cryopod, the cryo-sleeping thing can go, like, right there. Uh-huh. Ooh. There it is. Okay, well, you know what? It looks like something off of that guy, so we're good. Doing plenty good on the element and the generator, so our entire base is powered and is wonderful. Uh, let's check out what this is like. I don't want to fast travel. Ooh! Oh, we're inside it! It doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Hang on a second. This doesn't work. We need, uh... Hang on. What do we got? I need... Why do I have chitin stuff in there? I need to get rid of that chitin stuff. I need... Where is it? We had some PJs somewhere. I swear that we had some PJs somewhere. That's crystals. Do we not have it? Alright, we're making PJs. We're making PJs. Uh Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. 
Gotta have those PJs, guys. Ooh. Oh, right. We have the glider suit. We need to make one of those. All right. PJ time. Uh, boom. All right, PJs. My forehead sticks through this. Bang. All right. That looks much more comfortable. Don't you guys agree? That looks so much better. And look at, look at, look at. Uh, right hand side. Look at my XP bar. Holy crap. This might be the new way of leveling. AFK leveling. Whatever. I don't know. Just maybe. Yeah. What is it? What is that? We're getting about... Let's see. Hang on. Getting about 4 XP per tick. We're getting about 8 XP a second. Holy crap. 8 XP a second. I mean, it's going to take you a little while to level up, but look at that. That's nice. That's nice. And there's no... I have nothing crafting, so it has to be the cryopod, which makes sense because I heard that was the case. Look at the controls inside. We got, like, freaking climate control in here. We got to make a... Guys, we got to redo our base. We've got to redo the base, and we've got to make it uh, kind of sci-fi, and we need, like, a cryo hall with a bunch of these in there just because it would look freaking cool. We might have to redo the base. I liked the little mountain village idea, but I really haven't gotten that far on it, and uh, this is much cooler. This is way cool. All right, well, I think that's all I have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so my little avatar guy here is going to take a nap, I guess, and we're going to see how many levels uh, we have when we come back. Uh, that may or may not be in the next episode, depending on what I have to do to get ready for it. I have plans, guys. We've been checking out some of the tech and stuff. That might continue. Or we might go tame a uh, manic armor finally, because I want one, and I don't have one, so... But if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you enjoyed it even more, please subscribe. It helps me out quite a bit. And if you would like to support the channel in a very special way and be able to join me on all the servers that you see here on the channel and play along with me, please go over to patreon.com forward slash clericcraft. Become a Patreon and join the order. And we will have many fun and amazing adventures together. I like being interactive with my community. Um... And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Oh.